Welcome back. The shortcut key for grabbing our joint is letter J. Let's first insert our axle to the hole of our base. Let's isolate base and turn on the visibility of axle. Make sure our main assembly is activated. Hitting J for joint and whenever this dialog box appears, make it a habit to select capture position to retain the current position of our components. Now this axle will be inserted to the hole of our base and given the freedom to rotate. In this instance, I want our axle to rotate in the middle. Now the appropriate motion type for that is Revolute. Prompted to select the joint origin for component 1, we're going to hover over our axle and select this middle joint origin. Zooming into our base, notice as we hover over specific faces, that face highlights. And on this face, notice we have snap points where in our joint origin snaps. Now our area of interest is this cylinder. Notice if I hover over this face and hold our control key and hover over this face notice we are locking to that current selection and because this cylinder is our area of interest we're going to hold control and select this middle joint origin left click notice how they mated and finally hit OK Let's turn on the visibility of our 5-hole link. Zoom out and move this here. Hitting J for joint, selecting capture position. Once more, our motion type for this instance is Revolute. Let's grab our or place our first joint origin. I'm going to hover over this hole and select this joint origin holding control left click rotating and hovering over this face holding control and selecting this joint origin left click and hit OK we need another 5 hole link to assemble on this area to create another instance of five hole link, simply select the component, hit Ctrl C to copy, select our main assembly, hit Ctrl V to paste. Let's move our pasted component. Finally, hitting OK. Applying the same step, hitting J. Hovering over this face, holding control, selecting this joint origin, rotating. Hovering over this face, holding control, and selecting this joint origin. Finally, hitting OK. Let's turn on the visibility of our color. And move this here. Same step with our 5-hole link, hitting J, selecting Capture Position. Hovering over this face, holding Control, selecting this joint origin. Hovering over this face, holding Control, selecting this joint origin. Motion type to be Revolute. Repeating the procedure. But first, let's create another instance of color. So hitting Control c selecting our main file, hitting Control v Let's move this to the left, hitting OK, hitting J, hovering over this face, holding Control, left click, hovering over this face, holding Control, left click. 
Motion type revolute, hitting OK. We need another instance of our axle to be inserted here. So selecting axle, hitting Control C, left click on our main file, Control V. Let's move this here, hitting OK. In this scenario, we want our axle to be perfectly at the middle. Now to do that, let's hit J for joint selecting capture position. Change the motion type to planar. Selecting this joint origin. And for component 2, I'm going to right click select between two faces. Selecting this face. Let's rotate. Selecting this face. So notice, as I hover over the cylinder of our base, there is a projection. I'm going to hold our control key, move over to this joint origin, projected at the middle, left click, and finally hit OK. Now to move our axle, simply select it. Left click, left click here to move our axle. Next, hit J, selecting capture position. And to insert our axle to our five hole link, our motion type should be cylindrical. Selecting this joint origin, hovering over this face, holding control. Let's select this joint origin. Hitting OK. Next, let's move this up. Grab our joint once more. Select this joint origin for our axle. Zoom in, hold control, selecting this joint origin. Hitting OK. Double click our middle mouse and zoom extends. And let's move our component. From here, I want you to do the rest. The same procedure applies when mating our collar to our link and axle. Looking forward to see your completed models in Facebook, Design Academy, and Fusion 360 Gallery. And here is the completed version. Our Fusion 360 monthly challenge was made using MSI Workstation. Fusion 360 and Autodesk softwares works best with MSI Workstations. Thanks for watching and we hope to see you on the next Fusion 360 monthly challenge for December.